uh, I don't know, but Tuesday, Tuesday was just an amazing day. Not only is it officially Christmas season, but like 2020 is almost over. This probably will go down as like the worst year ever recorded in human history. Certainly in like my lifetime at least, or so far. But the fact that the COVID vaccine is almost here, the Trump presidency is mostly over, and Christmas is nearly here, uh, there's once again joy in my cold heart. Happy thoughts aside, cue the poorly drawn intro, and let's do this. Ayo, and welcome to another episode of Drew's News Live, the best show on YouTube, breaking down dining, robotics, entertainment, world, and sports news, all within the time it takes to watch this video. What? As always, let's start with some dining news. In dining news, Andrew, can you talk about- No, I'm not doing this again. I already talked about LA County's health order last week, and I'm not going to repurpose the same talking point because Gavin Newsom just talked about hitting Californians with a more drastic lockdown. Well, at least for areas where the virus is running amok, according to Fox News. Look, the live stream didn't start till like 12.34 and I didn't have much time to change the script, so you get what you get. Andrew, but that's not what I was gonna say. Look, man, I can't keep up with each city's coronavirus number specifically, but he did say California had like 18,591 new cases on December 2nd, and California's hospitals and ICU capacity rates have increased by 85%. Also, Dr. Anthony Fauci said the Thanksgiving effect haven't been felt yet. Newsom is also implementing a regional stay-at-home order, and he shouted out the California Restaurant Association, so there, there's your dining news. He also announced emergency relief for small businesses made available now at covid19.california.gov. However, he kind of sounded like he was trying to sell small businesses speedy cash, so just be aware. Andrew, I, dude, I just want to tell the lovely people at home, since it's Christmas time, there's a bunch of sweet treats to enjoy, like Little Debbie's Frosted Trees, Trader Joe's Hot Cocoa Sticks, winter-themed Oreos, and legit so many other cool desserts I can't get to because this bit's taking forever. Andrew, listen, I don't know what you're going on about. I just wanted to tell you that Lon Adams, the guy who developed the recipe for Slim Jims, died Saturday of COVID-19 complications, according to CNN. Oh, I, uh, sorry, Andrew. I thought you were that weird Andrew that keeps coughing on people and I just, I did not want that conversation to last long at all. Nah, man, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Plus, that guy sucks. In robotics and tech news, Microsoft search engine Bing could be in a lick of trouble, according to the Sunday Times, after UK members of parliament investigated and found that the search engine was, quote, throwing up disgusting misinformation about the Nazi extermination of millions of Jews. In short, Andrew Percy, Catherine McKinnell, and Lisa Cameron, all politicians who, quote, led Westminster's all-party group against anti-Semitism, found that when people ask Bing if the Holocaust was a hoax, the very first response on the page is something like, quote, the killing of 6 million Jews was a hoax and should be recognized as that by Christians and all informed, honest, and truthful men everywhere. On the contrary, when the Times asked Bing if COVID-19 was a hoax, Bing is said to have responded with reputable sources while also debunking conspiracy theories. Parliament members wrote a joint letter to Microsoft UK in which they said, urgent necessary action is required to fix the problem. Bing is the search engine utilizing Amazon's Alexa. However, Amazon is said to have corrected the problem on their devices as soon as it came to their attention. In other robotics news, researchers at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia, created an artificial skin patch thing capable of allowing the wearer to react to pain according to CNN. You know how when we touch something hot or cold and electrical signals get sent from our brain to that point of contact? That's essentially how this patch works. Except it's designed for people without limbs or who wear prosthetics, so hey, it's pretty cool. I'll link the full story in the description below because I highly recommend you read it and see what crazy yet impactful stuff science is coming up with. In entertainment news, it's Christmas time. Time for some last minute shopping, cold winter nights, and driving to see some Christmas tree lights or lightings. I don't want to get striked for showing footage, so I'll link some Christmas tree lightings in the description to get you into the holiday spirit. Also, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think Christmas lights are just a good way to boost your overall morale. Plus, due to COVID-19, many cities had a virtual, like, alternative way of watching them, so I try to find the most grand and most clear picture of these lightings. Also in entertainment news, don't forget to cast your vote for Times Person or Persons of the Year. And while it's been established that this year has been absolute dog <laughs> you gotta admit, at least one person on this voting list brought some joy to your 2020, and probably even to you. Me? <laughs> Yes, even you. I know the town's drunkest, most homeless guy is still watching this video right now. What? I'm definitely not on this list. Anyways, from international pop sensation Blackpink, America's sweetheart Dr. Anthony Fauci, and the heroes battling the toughest wildfires recorded to date, there's legit someone or some group of people that indeed inspired change and hoisted up our spirits when it seemed all hope was lost in a year filled with low points. Except for Trump and Pence. Those guys were part of the low points. I don't know how they made it on the voting list. In world news, <coughs> if you listen to my podcast, <laughs> you'll know that more than 300 people were sent to prison for a 2016 coup in Turkey. And after reading it, yes, I have to quote this f***ing Call of Duty level to you. According to Al Jazeera, on July 15, 2016, 
A section of the Turkish military launched attacks on several major cities and against the Turkish government in an attempt to unseat President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. People must have been on the inside. As it said when bombs were dropping on parliament, the chairman of Joint Chief of Staffs, Ulusi Akar, was kidnapped by his own security detail. However, on a serious note though, the coup was said to have lasted only hours as thousands of ordinary citizens, loyalist soldiers, and some police forces protested the coup. Al Jazeera wrote that 241 people were killed and 2,194 others were injured in the failed coup attempt. Switching to a New York Times article, two years of martial law were said to have followed the coup with authorities detaining around 100,000 people and purging 150,000 public servants from their jobs. However, on November 26, 2020, Turkish courts sentenced a group of civilians and military officials accused of ordering the strikes on key targets. According to the Times, the masterminds were said to have been four civilians, Kemal Batsman, Hakan Sakik, Huran Biniz, and Nurentin Uruk, who were said to have been at Akinci base that July night. However, those men are accused of following the orders of Fethullah Gulen, a U.S.-based Islamic preacher who became Mr. Erdogan's bitter rival. I'll link both sources in the description below if you wish to read more. Wrapping up with sports news, for those of you who love Snoop Dogg's commentary and think, this guy needs to do more. Well, your wish has been heard because the legendary rapper and Triller announced a partnership yesterday that would see the introduction of the new boxing league, The Fight Club. Hosted by Snoop Dogg as a celebrity guest every time, along with some of his friends, according to PR Newswire, The Fight Club series will include five to eight events per year produced with the highest production value. Legit, hopefully the team gets the licenses no problem, so not only can we hear more legendary Snoop Dogg commentary, but also more fighters might have a shot making it to the professional boxing scene due to there actually being another league. In other sports news, Russell Westbrook is now moving on to the Washington Wizards in a trade that included John Wall going the other way and a 2023 protected first round pick, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Also, let me know how you feel about a Christmas Day opening season and the games that are going to be played. Personally, I think they're definitely a spicy list of fixtures, but hey. That's my opinion! So yeah, there's your fill of NBA and sports news. As always, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Andrew Alonzo. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you're new around here. Not only are all those things I said below free and take as little as one second, it helps me out a ton towards world domination. Listen to me babble like an idiot on my Monday podcast, which I'll link below, as well as my Twitter. Follow me on both if you're down, and all right, that's pretty much it. I got some hot cocoa waiting for me downstairs, so I'll see y'all next time.